What's up gaming heroes? Welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a fantastic add-on called Loot Appraiser. This add-on basically looks at the loot that you basically are looting and tells you the exact price that that is selling for either on your realm or in your region or just generally across every realm. It's such a useful add-on because when you are farming, whether it's dungeons, whether it's ore farming, whether it's herb farming, whatever it is, it will show you the value of that item and you don't have to go in and look through each individual item on TSM. It will just say, this is your amount of gold you've made in this amount of time. So we're going to go through exactly how you can get it and then how you can set it up. Just a quick disclaimer, you will need additional add-ons for making loot appraisal work. Loot Appraiser just displays the information that you need to see in a quick, efficient format. However, the actual pricing values will come from one of two other add-ons, It's de depending on what you prefer. You actually have two choices when it comes to the values of these items. You can either go for TSM, which takes all of the realm's data across every realm and imports it into your TSM add-on and shows you the accurate prices uh, for those items that you are looting. or Additionally, you could use the Undermine Journal. So if you're looking for a quick and easy setup of this, get the Undermine Journal. Just bear in mind that you won't get as accurate price sources as you will with TSM. I personally use TSM with this and I find it the best and most useful because I'm serious about gold farming. However, the Undermine Journal is fantastic for other reasons as well. So this box right here is the Loot Appraiser add-on. It is so cool. So say I were to run around Oldham, picking up cinder blooms and elementium ore. This will tell me the exact value of everything it is I am picking up and it will tell me the time in which I've been farming. So I, I can set myself an hour's farming and it will farm basically for an hour. It will go on for an hour and it will show the exact amount I've earned within that hour. So that way I'm able to test out gold farms and I know whether the gold farm is worth it. Additionally, I'm able to go into to dungeons and find out, you know, the value of my transmogs really quickly without having to go through each individual one in my bags. Makes it so much quicker for me to just figure things out. Okay, Rosium, how do I get these add-ons? Okay, Rosium, how do I get these add-ons? That's no problem. Go to Curse Forge and type in Loot Appraiser, one word, and simply download Loot Appraiser. Make sure that's downloaded and installed. Past this, you will obviously need one of the price sourcing add-ons that we mentioned previously. So either the Undermine Journal, which is just this one here, or you will need Trade Skill Master. All one word, Trade Skill Master, install that one right there. Simple and easy to do. Just bear in mind that for TSM to actually properly work, it really needs to, to have a client installed as well uh, from the website. So simply go to Trade Skill Master uh, website and download the client. It will look a little bit like this right here. And this basically it just has all the, the realms that I'm playing on and uh, keeps them updated, gives me the, the accurate prices, and gives me a few extra tools. It's very helpful to have that client. Okay, Erosium, I've now got either the Undermine Journal or TSM installed along with Loot Appraiser. Fantastic, that's really good to hear, guys. Let's open up Loot Appraiser and actually look at what you need to do. Alrighty, so this is the Loot Appraiser main window. You'll want your settings to be the most optimal for what it is you do most of. So say, for example, you do mostly only transmog farming, you will want to have slightly different settings to how you might do if you were just doing or and herb farming. It's very dependent on what it is you are looking for. But these, I will try and show you the best kind of like general settings that you can use. So ignore random enchants on items. Uh, this is obviously really helpful for transmog farming. Uh, it just basically means that it, it will take you, you know, the average value of the item depending on the, the enchants because sometimes you'll get one person who will stick something in the auction house at like 20,000 gold and all the other items are, are at 1,000 gold and realistically that items are going to sell for 1,000 gold, not 20,000 gold. So having that ignore random enchants on items is actually really useful just to get your realistic pricing data. Suppress start session dialogue during the first loot. So this is entirely up to you, but if you're farming on a character you actually play, it basically means that every time you kill a mob and you loot, it's going to start the session. So I do suppress that, and that basically stops this, uh, this box opening the second I loot something on any of my characters. Uh, auto start without prompting. Ignore soulbound items when looted. By saying you want to ignore soulbound items, it won't show you in this box 
that item that you've looted, but it will show you the value that you'll get from the item by selling it to a vendor. So it's just helpful and it basically makes your gold farming a bit less cluttered because a lot of the time when you're doing transmog, you're going to get a lot of soul bound uh, equipment that you're just going to sell to a vendor. It's much better just to get the values rather than, you know, the individual things because it, it makes you too excited when you see it in the box just there. Okay, auto sell great items. That's just obviously makes sense and is useful, uh, especially when you're doing transmog farming. You don't want to have to spend ages clicking through each of the items you need to sell. And obviously re auto repair gear is very useful if you want to do it like that. Uh, for myself, for price sourcing, uh, I use TSM, so I go ahead and use TSM minimum buyout. And this is just because the minimum buyout is the, the value of, that I can sell that item up on my realm, which I find is actually a lot less than typically most realms it is for because I'm on a very high pop realm. Uh, past that, guys, that's the all the settings you need there. Uh, you can use a disenchant value when looting bind on pickup uh, items. You know, that's entirely up to you. I personally don't because my characters that I tend to farm, uh, you know, transmogs on aren't enchanters. So that's not really relevant to myself. So noteworthy items, raid warning. So this will basically mean that when I get a really good item, it'll just pop up on the screen. It'll say, you just lo looted this. And it'll be like a raid warning would be. It's very useful to do that. Uh, play sound. Yes, you guys know that I like to have an auction window open sound whenever I get a good item. It's one of my most common comments on all of my gold farming videos uh, to get a auction window sound. How, how do I get this auction window sound? I, I like that. So yeah, that's how you do it. You can have loads of different... You can have that. You can have uh, player invite, auction window close, open... It's entirely up to you. So I just go for auction window open. That's what I prefer. The minimum uh, I usually have to common, but I'm going to change that to uncommon because it's just more helpful. Uh, the minimum gold alert threshold is 250 gold. I'm going to change this to 500 because I, I don't want everything to be uh, alerting me. I only want to know when I've actually got a real good piece of equipment in my bags. Okay, now let's go to display. Uh, the looted item list number of rows. So this basically changes uh, how big your loot appraiser add-on is if you look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And this open space here is going to be where it shows you the actual items you've looted and their values next to them. So that's really helpful. I personally go for about four or five. I'm going to leave it about four because I'm, I'm more comfortable with that. I don't need to see a huge box here. Uh, show looted item value. Uh, so that will obviously show you the the value of the item just here. This all these kind of settings here are just for this box right now. So display show looted item value will basically show you the item here and then the looted item value just next to it. Uh, show looted va item value per hour. That's okay. You can do, but I often find when you have show looted item value per hour, it's just kind of not accurate. Really, it it gives you like false. Uh, interpretations of exactly how much it, gold you're making per hour. Uh, so I leave that ticked off. Uh, show currency looted. Yeah, obviously that that's really helpful in my opinion. You want to know what currency you're looting. Uh, show items looted. Yep, very helpful. You obviously want to see looted items. Uh, show noteworthy items. Yes, please do. Uh, show destroy trash button slash reload required. Yes, uh, you can obviously show your destroy trash button if you want to. You don't have to have that. But it's up to you. And you can have your, your show sell trash button as well. Personally, I actually use a different add-on altogether for my destroy trash and sell trash. Uh, so I, I don't typically use this at all. Uh, but it's entirely up to you if you want to use that. Uh, show reset instance button slash reload required. This is a really, really helpful one because when you you go into instance, you then have to, uh, when you come out, you have to basically come all the way down to reset instance and then click yes each time. Whereas with reset instance, you just click it once and boom, it's reset, done. And that is just obviously a lot easier for you. Uh, show group looted item value. So this is basically when you're uh, doing a gold farm within a group, say it's like the one on Isle of Thunder, you can get, uh, you know, you, you can know exactly when someone's looted that a big item that's worth a lot of gold. Uh, that's really helpful, especially for those, those group transmog farms. Uh, and if you're in Discord with someone, you can discuss it really quickly. It's really fun. Add groups to looted item list. Again, all these ones here are just for the group farming. So they're only relevant to you if you are going to be doing group farming.
So these additional loot appraiser light windows will basically pop up a window whenever you get like a noteworthy item. That's entirely up, up to you if you want to go for that. I personally don't bother using those, uh, but it, it's really dependent on it if that's something you want. Uh, TSM groups, again, so this is like sell trash via TSM groups. So sometimes people will create a group on TSM and they'll just call it, say, uh, trash. And they will basically add certain items uh, to that trash group and then automatically this will and then automatically when you click sell trash it will sell any of the items within that trash group so that's very helpful obviously for you uh, I, additionally i don't bother using that i use a, a different add-on called scrap but that that's entirely up to you what it is you prefer this is really good to use because you can use it across multiple characters so if you do different transmogs at different farms and you come on different characters you can keep track of what is trash and what is not uh, add blacklisted items to destroy trash button again very similar to, to what I've just mentioned before you need a, a blacklist group a little bit like a trash group and you can basically destroy those items from that these two are really really useful for things like the lower black rock farm that I mentioned before because you get a lot of items from that farm which you have to destroy and you can't sell to a vendor which is really frustrating so you're better off just adding it to a group and destroying it in mass Okay, and then obviously there's the about details. Uh, these guys obviously deserve their shout outs for making fantastic add-ons. So full respect to everyone who did that. Their, uh, their details are just there. If you have any questions for me at all about this add-on, please feel free to reach out in the comment section below. I am a very active YouTuber and I will respond to those comments within a day at max. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for getting involved in the Gaming Hero Community, if you want to uh, get in contact with me, join the Discord below and you can, uh, you can send me a message from there.